Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre-market video for Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, a.k.a. Pivot Boss. It appears in a previous session here that price took quite a tumble here, breaking below the 2900 level, making it resistance, and then dropping into as low as 28.62 half. Price is still trading below the 2900 midpoint from last month's range, making it resistance again this morning. And you can see that price is continuing to find acceptance below that zone, which suggests that we could have a little bit more downside here. Again, we're finding some tails at the end of these days here, but we also have tails at the upper end of the days. We're not seeing clean, solid rejection off the lows. We had seen a pretty decent low a couple of days back, but again, after our sell-off really dropped this thing, and now we're trading much, much lower here. So again, we're still kind of within the framework of the uptrending uh, channel here looking for perhaps a counter trend rotation to new highs but we may need to test again into these lows and find rejection before we see something occur uh, if there's a failure here uh, to, to hold above that previous month's low that's when we could see an even bigger drop down toward 2700 perhaps so right now we're looking to see if we find some sort of rejection at the previous month's low for a shot at returning back to these recent highs. Because right now, it looks quite sluggish, lower highs, lower lows, and appears poised for more weakness, especially if price cannot get above 2900 in the near term. All right, let's take a look now at the NQ. You'll see the NQ looks very similar right here. Uh, almost the same chart. We have the uptrending structure of the current trend. Uh, we currently have a counter trend pullback to the lower edge of that channel there. And again, this could provide a very nice buy the dip opportunity at some point. Right now, it's not really giving us the best rejection. We're still trading below the midpoint of the last month's range. And again, any acceptance below that midpoint opens up a retest back at the previous month's low. So again, right now, not really finding the, the type of rejection you'd like to see but also not really falling off as well. It could easily open up the floodgates and really get a major drop. We're not seeing that type of behavior just yet either, but still remaining weak. You see 7,800 was offered here, now 7,700 offered this morning, and again, that opens the door to a little bit more weakness ahead. So again, right now we're still on the counter trend portion of this move, and if we can find some sort of significant rejection, on these lows soon we could start to turn things around otherwise we could be looking much much lower at the very least looking at something like 72 75 target down below all right let's take a look at crude oil crude also had a significant rejection off these highs a rounded top led to some selling pressure for two days a pullback in the 64 75 led to a lower high and a continuation down we got our six handles of range from 66 to 60, and now we're holding the $60 level here pretty sharply. You can see a great, great rejection off the lows here with an outside day up. Yesterday held the zone that we were looking for price to hold. Anywhere between 60.75 and 61, we got down to as low as, I believe, 60.66, and then started to bounce a little bit. We got a double inside day developing here today. And again, this could provide a nice breakout here at some point. If it can't hold these 61s, it really opens up another wave of weakness. And right now, 58s would be the next key level down. If we can reject this zone or keep the 60s rejected, that's when we can slingshot back up uh, towards 63.38 and perhaps as high as that 64.75 on the near-term basis. So right now, tightly compressed four-day range here, and we will see if we start to get expansion at some point. Looking at gold futures, you'll see here with gold, uh, 1290 has been the key level to watch. That's been the big time level here. Took it off and made it resistance. Down here rejected those recent lows by a few ticks and then is now coming back to retest 1290. Again, 1290 is a big time level here. And if prices were to break through that level, even right now, breaking and kind of pushing through that high a little bit, you're starting to break the pattern here of these lower highs. We've had lower highs uh, following that major rejection high. This was another one that was in development here until that failed low, and now we're back here. So 1290 is a big time level. Above that zone can open up a move back toward 1315 to 1320, and any rejection at 1290 could finally open up maybe another wave of weakness down. 
which could take us back toward the 1220. So right now we are right at that pivot. 1290, continue to watch it today. Currently the uptrend is in, in play in the day time frame, but we're up against the higher time frame swing trend as well. So we're right at that point to continue to watch this level for acceptance or perhaps rejection. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this thing plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.